Anywho, I was buying a sari for my mom on her birthday, but I couldn't tell which fiber this is. It isn't cotton. It, it isn't wool. I don't know which fiber this is. Help me with it, please. Tell me which fiber this is. Take a look at it. This. Let me see. Oh, this is silk. I was just reading about it. In our fiber to fabric chapter. Have you read it already? Oh, no. Okay, then let me tell you about it. Oh, please tell me about it then. Okay, so let me tell you. The life cycle of silk moth starts when a female silk moth lays eggs. Okay. The caterpillar or larva are hatched from the eggs of the silk moth. Then the silk worms feed on mulberry leaves and give rise to pupa. Now mulberry leaves. I have a tree in my garden. Let's have a look at it, okay? Such a beautiful mulberry tree. See? So beautiful. And I can even see a beehive. Can you? So lush green leaves. No wonder why silkworm would not eat it. And I can see many ripe mulberries. Mmm, they taste yum. Yeah. Moving ahead. In pupa stage, a weave is netted around by the silkworm to hurl itself. Okay. After that, it swings its head, spinning a fiber made up of protein. That fiber is known as the cocoon from which we get silk. Okay. So, uh, several caterpillars form a protective layer around the pupa. Covering is known as cocoon. The silk thread or yarn is obtained from the silk moth's cocoon. Let me explain you in detail. The stage 1 is the egg stage. An egg is the first stage of the life cycle of silk moth. The egg is laid by a female silk moth which is mostly the size of a small dot. The female moth lays more than 350 eggs at a time. This procedure happens every once in a year. Stage 2 Silkworm stage A hairy silkworm arises after the eggs crack. In this stage of silkworms the growth happens. They feed on mulberry leaves and consume large amount of these leaves for around 30 days before going to the next stage. See these leaves? So fresh. Right? These are consumed by them. Cocoon stage is the next stage or the third stage. In this stage, silkworm spin a protective cocoon around itself. It is the uh, size of a small cotton ball. It is made up of a single thread of silk. Now the fourth stage which is the Pupa stage. Pupa stage is the motionless stage. In this stage, people kill the pupa by plunging the cocoon into boiling water and unwind the silk thread. So merciless, right dear? Stage 5 is the moth stage and the last stage of all. In this stage, the pupa changes into an adult moth. The female moth lays eggs after mating and thus the life cycle of silkworm begins again. Okay dear? Now let's go to the study and see this life cycle in a picture form. Shall we? We have come into the study. So let us have a clear look at all the four stages in a silkworm's life. Here is the egg stage, then the larva stage, the cocoon stage and the moth stage. Now let us have a look at the life cycle of a silk moth. We can see silkworm's life cycle. The first is the egg stage. The female moth lays many tiny eggs. A small hairy caterpillar hatches out of its egg. The caterpillar eats mulberry leaves and grows bigger and bigger, goes through four molds. As you can see here, one, two, three, four. This is the mulberry leaf. It grows bigger in size. The caterpillar spins a cocoon of silk threads around itself. 
Then comes the pupa stage. Inside the cocoon, the caterpillar changes into a pupa. People unwind the silk thread from the cocoon to weave into silk cloth. How merciless! Now comes the adult stage. The pupa changes into a moth. The moth comes out of the cocoon. The adult moth mate with each other and again eggs are formed and the life cycle goes on and on and on. Now let's go to the mulberry tree. So now we are back at the mulberry bush. Let me tell you about sericulture now. Sericulture is nothing but the rearing of silkworms. Now the female silk moth lays hundreds and hundreds of eggs. These eggs are then wrapped in clean pieces of cloth and sold to the silkworm farmers. These silkworm farmers keep the eggs in accurate temperature till they hatch to produce larva. Larva are nothing but caterpillars. Now these caterpillars feed on the fresh leaves of mulberry tree, fresh chopped leaves of mulberry tree for 30 to 40 days and then they stop eating and settle in small chambers of bamboo trays prepared by the silkworm farmers. There they spin their cocoons. Now the secretion of liquid protein from their salivary gland forms the cocoons or the silk threads. Then they, these cocoons are taken and boiled mercilessly, boiled or steamed till the silk fibre gets separated. Now these cocoons are tangled completely. So to unwind them, we use the process of reeling. Reeling is the process of unwinding the fibres from the cocoon. Okay, it's completed now. I can see that girl Dia is on top of the tree house. Let's go there and ask her that if she has some doubts or not. Oh, thank God, Pihu, you came. I had some couple of doubts. Even though I listened to you the whole time, I still have some doubts. My first doubt is, what are the stages in the life of a silk moth? Yeah, I explained this to you. The five stages are egg, silkworm, cocoon, pupa and moth. Okay, I'm clear with this now. But one more thing you tell me. What is silk fiber made up of? Silk fiber? I told you about it. It is the secretion of liquid protein from the silkworm's salivary gland. I told you about this when we were talking about the rearing of silkworm done by the silkworm farmers, right? Oh, thank you. Now I'm clear with this. But in which stage of its life is silkworm killed to obtain silk? Please tell me. Silkworm? It is killed in the third stage, which is the cocoon stage. Okay, so it's killed in cocoon stage. But now I have one more question. Please answer me. What is reeling? Reeling. Oh, reeling is the process of unwinding fibers from the cocoon. It's really good to know about all of that. But where was silk discovered? Who was the person who discovered silk? I don't know. Please tell me. Silk was discovered by, uh, I can recall, uh, Li Zhu. She was the wife of the Yellow Emperor of China around the year 2696 BC. And uh, yeah, she came to know about the silk when she was having tea in her garden and a cocoon fell into her tea and it unraveled. Okay? And uh, she noticed that it was both strong and soft. I'm really bugging you. But one last question, okay? One last question. What does the caterpillar eat? The caterpillar eats freshly chopped mulberry leaves. Don't you remember? I told it it for 30 to 40 days and grows in size. So hope now, Dia, you're clear with all of your doubts. And guys, I hope you have understood the process of silk and the reeling and stuff 
with um, how the life cycle of silkworm etc etc so if you like this session with me do not forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel miss trailblazer for more exciting fun and learning content bye